I am constantly being perceived as a teacher either to be exalted or rejected, but I do not accept either perception for myself. I will teach with you and live with you if you will think with me, but my goal will always be to absolve you, finally, from the need for a teacher. I can be entrusted with your body and your ego only because this enables you not to be concerned with them and lets me teach you their unimportance. I could not understand their importance to you if I had not once been tempted to believe in them myself. When you are afraid, be still and know that God is real and you are his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. In this world, you need not have tribulation, because I have overcome the world. That is why you should be of good cheer. Nothing you do, or think, or wish, or make, is necessary to establish your worth. Your worth is established by God. If you are willing to renounce the role of guardian of your thought system and open it to me, I will correct it very gently and lead you back to God. The reason you need my help is because you have denied your own guide and therefore need guidance. My role is to separate the true from the false so truth can break through the barriers the ego has set up and can shine into your mind. Against our united strength, the ego cannot prevail. There is a kind of experience so different from anything the ego can offer that you will never want to cover or hide it again. It is necessary to repeat that your belief in darkness and hiding is why the light cannot enter. The Bible gives many references to the immeasurable gifts which are for you, but for which you must ask. Let us ask the Father in my name to keep you mindful of his love for you and yours for him. He has never failed to answer this request because it asks only for what he has already willed. Those who call truly are always answered. Thou shalt have no gods before him, because there are none. The kingdom is perfectly united and perfectly protected, and the ego will not prevail against it. Amen.